start sharing. I will start sharing the presentation. During this presentation, I don't see the participants. So if you have some questions, uh, uh, my colleagues from the office, Shimon and Lou, are keeping eye on chat. And if there is anything, please highlight to me and we can stop or add something if there are some additional questions. Uh, so thank you so much and welcome everybody to this webinar about joining the YRE program and introduction to the YRE competition for the year 2022-2023. And uh, uh, some few technical information. So during this webinar, please keep yourself muted and don't unmute yourself un until uh, there is a time for questions um, and discussion. If you have some question, please uh, write it in the chat. And also uh, later on, we can go back to all that information uh, that you need to know uh, and if, if there is anything uh, more. Uh, this webinar will be also recorded and then will be available through our website for those who couldn't attend today. So we will be sharing this link as well uh, through all the people who registered for the webinar. And um, for most of the time we have this uh, presentation on the screen so we don't see faces and it's uh, not recorded. But if uh, there will be some discussion and then we show the screen with all participants and you don't want to be presented, you can keep your uh, uh, camera off uh, for that time. Uh, some uh, timeline for this webinar. So we will start with short introduction to the program, uh, to the general YRE program. There will be some information about rules for the competition. Uh, we might have short break. Uh, it depends how uh, quickly we will be going with all this information. Then we have a few wiry uh, students and winners from the competition from last year sharing their stories and having a small panel discussion about that. Uh, then there's very small information about some other resources available for this and a pollution campaign and some other information and question answers uh, at the end. So I hope you will enjoy this uh, one hour and a half uh, journey with us uh, from the, about the YRE competition. And uh, it will be uh, a very interesting and fruitful meeting for you. Uh, just a small information about the YRE program. Uh, it's part of the, uh, uh, found it's, uh, we are running this program uh, within the frame of Foundation for Environmental Education. Uh, FE is running five programs. In this, uh, we have three educational programs. Uh, eco schools, uh, probably many of you know the program. Learning about forests and young reporters for the environment. I won't be going deeper into other programs, but if you want to read about that, you can see on our website. And uh, also, we have two ecotourism eco labors program, Green Key and Blue Flag. Uh, FE is a non-governmental, non-profit organization promoting sustainable development through environmental education worldwide. Uh, we are based with the head office in Denmark and we are registered as a charity organization in the UK. So let's go about uh, YRE program. Uh, we have some small video to introduce you to that. Uh, if there will be any uh, issues with the sound, please uh, notify me. Can one voice make a difference for the environment? Absolutely. One voice can create a message that's heard around the world, a message that empowers all of us to unite and develop solutions that will drive us toward a brighter future for our planet. One voice, one person can inspire the world, but becoming an inspirational person requires gaining strong leadership skills. Develop these skills by participating in the Young Reporters for the Environment program. Every year, thousands of students ages 11 to 25 join the YRE program and learn about constructive journalism so they can lead global conversations about major environmental topics. By joining YRE, you will gain access to a network of like-minded students and teachers across 45 countries. You will have the chance to report from high-level international conferences and to participate in annual YRE competitions. In the program, you'll learn how to be a reporter with advanced critical thinking skills 
you'll use a tested four-step methodology to investigate, research, report, and disseminate messages worldwide. Your efforts will influence others to take immediate action. Participants in the program build skills for life and friendships to aid them in their environmental activism efforts. Once wiry, forever wiry. Don't let your environmental message, your one voice, go unheard. Join the YRE program today and become a leader for global change. Can one so that was a very small introduction to our program. Uh, you can also see this video on our website on through the YouTube link. Uh, there are also with subtitles for quite many countries uh, around the world. So if you are a teacher, student, or national operator, and you want to share or encourage other people to join, you can also use this video. The YRE program gives young people a platform to research environmental issues uh, and uh, do it through the investigative reporting, photography, and video journalism. Uh, it is a leadership program because it focuses on individual students, but it can be run also uh, within a class with a group of students, uh, with some um, uh, clubs, reporters club, after school clubs, uh, scouts group, or different, different partners. Uh, we have also a lot of educational resources that are available for all these groups, um, and they are available on our website. Currently, the program is active in uh, 43 countries. And uh, yeah, if, uh, you, uh, if there are some other countries that are interested in this, they can contact us as well uh, to join this uh, program. The YRE program uh, is uh, working already for over 25 years. And it was introduced at the beginning of 90s in France. And there was an organized expedition to Arctic to measure ozone problems. And some of the young students were also um, asked to join this expedition. And they were reporting from the scientists' uh, findings. Um, after this, uh, this program was uh, uh, developed through Europe, European countries, and later on globally through the FEE network. Um, the wiring methodology is very simple and consists of four steps. But these steps are extremely important uh, whenever you want to share some stories or use tools to uh, talk about environmental issues, problems, and uh, also solutions. So the first step of the YRE program is to investigate the local uh, issues and um, learn about it, learn about pollution, about biodiversity loss, about climate change and uh, look for different solutions, research them through uh, interviews, Re research them through uh, asking experts, scientists, uh, talking to local stakeholders, uh, people from the municipalities, or even from the local gro grocery shop. And then when you have all this background information and you talk with the group of your fellows and also with a teacher in the schools, then uh, you can create a story. And the story can be created as an uh, article, photo, or short video. Uh, I will talk in a moment uh, some more things about all these categories. And then uh, the fourth very, very important step is to disseminate the story, to educate other people, to encourage them to join, and um, uh, also um, uh, raise awareness and educate people about this uh, problem and solutions and things that can be done uh, locally. Uh, within the YRE program, we are running uh, annual competition. And uh, this annual competition is run on a cascade way. So first the competition is started in every country that is part of the YRE network. And then the first place winners can be submitted for the international competition. Uh, each year we have over 200 winners that comes from different uh, countries and different um, uh, uh, through different competition categories. The competition is open for participants from age 11 to 25 years old uh, in three age categories, uh, 11, 14, 14, 15, and 1925. And these categories are for articles, videos, and international uh, collaboration. Uh, in the category of photos, uh, the age is uh, not so important. Um, 
So we look for the best photos, but we are looking for photos uh, like a reportage photo, campaign photo, and photo story that is uh, three to up to five photos. Uh, the thematic category for the YRE competition for next for this year it's pollution. It's a recommended category, and we are mostly looking for the best stories in these categories. But if you are interested, you can also uh, participate uh, participate in other uh, with other teams and topics that you are interested in. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I just interrupt and say to Shimon and Luke, can you tell uh, Adriana that this meeting is on Zoom, not on Teams? I can see that she joined Teams. Um, and this competition also gives participants an opportunity to collaborate internationally and submit entries through your partner school uh, through and with through individual students or group of students. I will tell a few more words. Uh, later on about that. Uh, the international competition areas uh, consist of few uh, parts, and then we have a general, inter a general international competition that is open for all the countries that are part of the network. And then we have also countries that are working on a leaderless campaign, and they are strongly involved in these activities. And they are also working through our partners like Scouts uh, and uh, UNESCO Spinat Network Schools. And those countries uh, can submit uh, entries uh, with uh, like a general competition, but with marking it as well that this is part of the Literless campaign. And then we have international collaboration category. Uh, this category is open to all the countries in three teams, uh, environmental pollution, biodiversity loss, climate change. Uh, the stories must be linked to uh, 17 sustainable development goals. And with this category, you are not assessed on national level. Uh, so uh, if you are working, let's say Portugal and Greece together, then one of the national operator from these uh, two countries is submitting the entry di directly to us for the international competition. And we are doing the selection and pre-selection of the stories here on international level. Uh, who can participate um, in the international competition? The first place winners of the national competition. So this is also for national operators. You are submitting only one entry and one winner, unless you have two equal winners in the same category. Uh, in the YRE competition and the YRE program uh, can participate students from all types of schools, public, private, international, colleges, universities, also scout clubs and different formal and uh, like informal groups, also individual students. How to join? The first, if you are a teacher or a student, you need to contact your national operator and you can find the link on our website uh, where the program is active. Uh, I think Shimon or Lu can also post this link on the chat uh, so you can check who's the national operator in your country. And also uh, schools and um, uh, uh, schools from the UNESCO Spinet Network and the Scouts Group through International World uh, Organization of Scouts Movement can also submit their stories through our member organization or through UNESCO. Uh, so uh, some small rules, technical rules, especially for our national operators. Uh, so. You are submitting entries, as I said before, uh, one winner from each of the categories. So for article, you can submit max three entries for each age category. So you have first place winner in the 11, 14, 15, 18, 19, 25. Only one winner, you don't submit first, second and third, unless you have two equal first place uh, um, winners. Uh, in the same category. It happens sometimes, rarely, but if this has happened, I, I would suggest as well, you contact us and you highlight this uh, information to us that this is for, uh, like, that you have two equal winners. So we are aware that this is not a mistake. Uh, then uh, you can submit a first place winner uh, in the single reportage photo, regardless of the age. 
then a single environmental campaign photo, one entry as well, and the photo story, one entry. Uh, in the video category, the same as for articles, you are submitting uh, only one winner in each age group. So one winner in 11-14, one 15-18, and one 19-25. If you don't have winner in any of the age category, you just skip that uh, category and you submit in the categories that you have first place winners. Uh, for international collaboration, you can submit all type of entries, all ages, and uh, just make sure that it's submitted only once and only for one national, by, by one national operator, so you don't duplicate it. Uh, the new, the competition rules are kind of uh, similar as always, and they are presented on our website as well. It's important that uh, we know the name, age of the person who's participating, and name of the registered school or group, country, but the stories in English that focus on uh, current role, local issues, uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's built within a format and structure that is needed for this competition, and it also has dissemination um, links. Uh, and also focuses on uh, some solutions and things. You can read all this um, uh, information in detail uh, going through the competition uh, rules on our website or through the documents that we share uh, later on. Some important tips about dissemination. So this is very, very important part of this program because we want the story to be heard. We want them to make an changes on the local uh, area, uh, you can encourage people to take some actions and increase the impact of uh, activities that you are running. And we recommend that uh, while you are submitting the stories uh, for the YRE competition, before this action is taken, you highlight also how you have disseminated those um, uh, that story. And uh, here we highlight the four aspects for dissemination. First is a personal aspect, personal sphere that you can disseminate through social media, your social media, school social media, um, national operator social media. Then uh, there is a school community. Uh, sometimes there are some um, conferences or presentations that are organized on the school, uh, school ground. There is a school newspaper or website or some posters that can be presented in the school building. Uh, just document it uh, through small photo and place this information below your story. And then national operator from each of the country can help you to submit this, uh, to share the story on the national level through their website, their social media and uh, partners that they are collaborating with. If you have opportunity, you can also share a story with national media and disseminate them through national channels or some TV, radio, newspapers. We know that sometimes uh, our students are participating or attending some local TV channels talking about their activities that they are doing. Uh, so all this can be presented below the story that is submitted for the competition. If there will be some other uh, um, information needed about dissemination on our website, you can find a really uh, detailed, uh, detailed description about this, how to disseminate and through different media. Here I also copied an example from one of the stories from uh, last year, from uh, the photo story that won the, was awarded with the, photo, uh, like with the first place winner uh, from Montenegro. And you can see very nicely exposed how the story was disseminated through all this link. There are links for social media, school link, national operator, also submitted through the Ministry of Ecology and Planning and some other media. And so that's how jury is looking into that. This is copied from the uh, page when the story is presented for the competition. And then the important part is about citing your sources. And uh, we have a lot of discussion about this part. And I would like to invite uh, one of the YRE alumni and the jury member uh, to highlight this aspect, uh, a very important aspect of citing stories and do it in, do it in a professional uh, way. Adriana, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. I hope you can hear me. Yes. 
Okay, hello everyone. Uh, glad to see you uh, here. And yeah, uh, that's uh, kind of my part because we discussed a lot with the Gosha and according to recommendation from the jury members, we changed a bit uh, the part about the, uh, about the situation, our sources. Because, because it has happened that we receive uh, some entries more like academic essays and not really journalistic pieces. So I wanted just to remind you that we have uh, like two ways how to cite uh, our sources. And one is more like academic one and one is more like journalistic way. Um, also in this uh, we we for sure we want to focus on this journalistic ones because we are young reporters and not the young academics and uh, it's still necessary in journalistic pieces like to admit the source but in a different way um, in journalistic pieces it's necessary to admit the source right in the text or right in the sentence for example you, can you switch the slide, please, to, to the examples which we have in the presentation? Uh, like, for example, in this article from Latvia, like, uh, as you can see, uh, in the second paragraph, is like, it was published on the portal manabals.lv. So, uh, like, for instance, uh, we can say, like, according to the website or uh, as it was written in the documents from IPCC or something like that, not just write the information, the, the single information, and then the make the footnotes where it was written. Because uh, the footnotes styles are more academic ones. And as I said, it has happened that we received some entries more like uh, doing in this academic way. Uh, but still, we want to have like this bibliography at the end of the article, just for the jury members to, to check uh, some information, if we'll doubt about something. So it's, uh, it's good to, to have this bibliography. But it, I think we agreed on that it will be visible only on Podio, not for everyone in dissemination. And I just wanted to highlight that the essential part of the journalistic pieces are like quotations and statements from, for, from um, some from, for, like um, from from some people, which is uh, competitive to 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 tell something on our topic. So I just wanted to like encourage you and all the students to search for your own source, not just sites some of, uh, of them which already exist, but to, to, to use really the citations and also statements and quotation from, from the people because it makes these uh, journalistic articles more um, like more serious and uh, everything professional. Can, professional. Yeah, that, that was the word which I was searching uh, for. So just, uh, just I, I just wanted to highlight that, that uh, we should be more journalists than the academics, so um, you can make uh, you can notice this change in the in the competition rules. Yeah. And I think that's that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adriana. We ask Adriana to do it, so it's highlighted that this is one of the changes that we want to highlight for this year. And we hope also that it will be easier for you to write in that way, that immediately in the text, you can kind of say that this is uh, following some information from this portal or this expert or something like that. Um, so, so the text uh, looks uh, really like professional from a journalistic point of view, and it's easier to already verify if the source is right that uh, you have provided here. So uh, thank you, Adriana, for that. And then I also want to highlight uh, uh, things related to uh, some rights for uh, use of the music, uh, images, articles, and videos. And this is really, really important because we want to uh, play fair game in this. We don't want to have music that you don't have copyrights or uh, international hits. I know they work perfectly and they are very like uh, catchy if you'd use them for some of the videos, but um, we can, uh, we, we don't want to find ourselves in the position that the music was stolen and then disseminated internationally uh, with some other story. 
So please be aware of, about that. On our website, you can find different uh, links to uh, free sources for different uh, music, uh, uh, some designs, images, articles uh, for uh, or uh, photos that can be used for that. And just make sure that you have rights for it, and also highlight it in the text if you are using some. Uh, uh, free uh, stocks of the video of the pictures in your article, please write it down on the articles where this uh, uh, photos came from. If you are taking a music, please include it in your video. Uh, we know that the video is three minutes, but all this uh, like footness additional information, they can exceed the video. We don't count it in the three minutes. So uh, don't be afraid to put this information at the end of the video. And also uh, when you are signing up for the competition, we ask you to tick the box with the consent. So we, can, we have rights uh, to review photos uh, and also uh, we as an organization and the network of uh, members, we have, right, uh, we have right for this, but it's as well, it's important for you when you are interviewing someone or you are taking photos of people uh, participating in some action, please make sure that you have rights for it. And there is no objections that uh, these people are uh, cited in the story that you are using or they are recorded for the video or they are presented as part of the article. Uh, so this I want to highlight because many times after the story is submitted, we are reaching out to different countries to ask, uh, to check if really you have rights for it. Um, and also, uh, we are very uh, picky on plagiarism, so don't use some uh, music that was already created by someone else and put in your own text. It's also stealing the music from someone. If you don't have right, if you don't have permission to use it, just uh, use some other regular music that is free uh, and you have rights for it. Uh, on our website, you can find also link uh, with the tips from the jury that are part of the competition, especially from the last uh, uh, webinar that we were running a month ago. Uh, we had the two jury members that were going through the winners of this year and highlighting different uh, like uh, important aspects of the stories that were submitted for the competition. It's a fantastic lesson learned and inspiration for your stories what to focus on and what is important to, to look and how the jury is looking also on the stories that are submitted for the competition. I suppose that uh, uh, Shimon or Lou can, can put, post this link on chat so you can have a look on the tips from the jury. I just wanna quickly go through a few of the winners from last year uh, and uh, just highlight how the jury is also looking on that story. So we have a winner, first place winner from Slovakia uh, about but didn't lose their sanctuary. This story was uh, written by students from age 11 uh, to 14 years old uh, about local bus that were like that are in the attic if one of the buildings and how people can go around it, how it was influencing the local community. And the jury really highlighted with the story that it's a very nice local topic, small, uh, small things that is uh, very important for people living in that building and, this, uh, and in this community. Uh, it's not focused on any cute species because bats are not uh, like uh, uh, animals that we really uh, like enjoy. It's not cute, cute kitties uh, on, uh, that you can follow on the internet but very, very important uh, topic. And uh, the article was very well written, was informative, was included some um, interviews. So we really encourage you that you have a look on that story that is presented on our website and uh, get some inspiration from this, how, how this story was prepared. And also about the unique topic. Uh, so look for some stories that are close to your heart um, that are unique, uh, that are not repeated from the competition from last year or two years ago, but something that really is around you and your community. Uh, so here just some uh, small tips. Uh, when, you, when you are creating the stories for articles, look uh, how the story can be created, uh, that there is uh, uh, important to have a good title, lead for this body and the conclusion of the story. 
on our website, you can also find uh, um, uh, video tutorials about writing articles, creating photos and uh, uh, videos. And do your own research. So conduct interviews and surveys, ask local people, uh, talk with people, organize some activities that highlight this, uh, um, this issue for, for the local community. And as for, for all of them, share your work. So do not forget to disseminate. On our uh, competition website, you can find a document in PDF that is kind of article checklist. And we did it for each of the category. You can print this document. And before you submit the entry for the competition, just read uh, point by point and kind of check. Do I write your, my name? Do I make the, uh, all the information? Is the article thousand words? And just tick all the boxes and then you will uh, be really, uh, uh, then you will do really, really great with your story. Uh, then uh, I wanna highlight one of the photos. Uh, this photo was awarded as a photo of the year uh, from in the last year competition. Uh, it's a photo from India, uh, and it's a very good, high-quality photo showing a young boy uh, working um, on this, in the, uh, this industry, uh, uh, industrial type of act, uh, work. And uh, uh, this photo is addressing the socioeconomic development. And I want to highlight that um, uh, in the wiry program, we are looking into the entries that are um, highlighting environmental issues. And this is the most important part uh, of this. When you look on this photo, you need to kind of think for a moment, uh, where is the environment in this photo? Because you see the labor, you see the child working uh, in this, um, no, safe, uh, no safety procurement for, for this work. But this is actually very important environmental topic, also highlighting uh, with all the air pollution and, and everything that is related to this metal pollution as well. So uh, you can look into the different aspects on environmental issues, but just make sure that this is the part that is really important, that this is uh, like highlighting the aspect of this uh, problem. Uh, also for photos, photos are usually like, it's very easy to take a photo, but very, very difficult to have a good photo. And there's, uh, there's some tips for internet, for this reportage as photos, look for interesting subject. Try many times, you have a lot of time to think of different uh, things that you wanna highlight through photo, through photo story, reportage or campaign photo. Please do not Photoshop. Uh, so we want to uh, see the real photos. We don't want to assess your skill in Photoshop program. So that's why it's uh, uh, really important that you are submit the real story and uh, every, that it's uh, not uh, designed in the Photoshop. Uh, make sure that the caption is really adding things to the photograph. So don't describe in the caption what we see on the photo, like in the previous, don't write like I, uh, there is a boy working on this, blah, 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 blah. We see this on photo. It's something that is not visible and can give uh, additional information. Look on the lighting, composition, depth of this photo and all these important technical aspects and you can find it on our website as well. Uh, and there is again the checklist that you can uh, download from our website and kind of tick the boxes before you submit the story. Uh, I wanna highlight also one of the videos and this video was uh, first place winner from France. And uh, this video is highlighting the problem with uh, fish nets in the, um, uh, in the sea. Uh, it's very well shot. It's uh, had good balance with as a reportage to, with uh, people that are interviewed. Uh, good, uh, 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 good um, uh, video material that was collected for this. It's very focused on details, and it's really nice to to follow the story, and you can learn a lot from it. Uh, so look also from as I was highlighting all the time. Um, Look for stories that are close to your heart. Choose a good topic, unique topic. Um, so you can be inspired with topics that were winning last year, but there is plenty of other problems and issues that are around our world. 
or great environmental solutions that can be highlighted with this uh, within this competition. Before you will create uh, your video, please write a script, uh, collect a group of friends that can help you as well to run some interviews um, and uh, group the, for a uh, production plan, do your field work. So interviews, ask different stakeholders, record uh, larger material than you need for the video, and then just focus on uh, highlighting the most important part until you reach the three minutes. And uh, remember as well about sound. This is very important, but even with a small microphone attached to your mobile, uh, you can find a quiet spot and interview people that the sound is, uh, is uh, we can hear what the person is uh, telling. You can always put the subtitles if the story is not in English, but remember to add the subtitles. And um, as well, um, yeah, we are we kind of recommending that if you are working on the reportage, uh, not the campaign type of photo, uh, in the reportage, it, the music is not recommended. Uh, it's like things about it, like uh, you watch the news in TV, uh, those news are not, uh, there is no uh, music background. So, so when you are creating a reportage, just focus on the story. You don't need music for that. But the music is very welcome in the campaign type of uh, stories. And just one highlight from the um, uh, international collaboration story that was also the first place winner from the last year from Greece and Turkey. Both of the countries were working ob ob on this uh, important aspect that was uh, burning our uh, earth uh, last year for the last few years, wildfires. And the topic is presented through very personal perspective. So it's working on emotions, working on people that are involved in this. And this also builds really fantastic story. Uh, so uh, as Adriana was saying before, we are getting a lot of scientific uh, articles, but it's the same related to videos. Focus on people, focus on story that are close to your heart and build some kind of emotions that is always working very well for, for, uh, for uh, people that are watching it. Uh, and also like for international collaboration on our website, you can find very detailed description how to collaborate with uh, partner school, uh, partners, students, youth from other countries. And for this process, uh, please at least allocate two, three months because you need to think uh, what, the, what is the subject that you wanna focus on, how you can work on it. You need to learn from each other and discuss it. So which angle you will be looking into that. And then uh, uh, you have to discuss how you will create the story to be coherent. So we don't want the story like in one country is this a problem and in the other is this. No, try to build this as, as one coherent story, looking for the problem or solution through both countries and through this perspective on, on um, like a one, one process of work. Uh, just a bit about the calendar. Uh, so um, in our uh, pro uh, program, also international schools can uh, work directly with our fee head office in Denmark and international schools can submit their stories on 21st of April directly to us, to me and Shimon. Uh, the wiry countries, uh, also including scouts and UNESCO schools, are submitting entries for the wiry competition on 12th of May. So all national operators need to send the stories, the first place winners to us on 12th of May. Uh, then the jury meeting uh, is uh, around 20, 21st, 22nd June. And then the, the winners will be announced before the end of June. Uh, the detailed criteria for the wiry competition are here available through this link. And really we encourage, uh, encourage you to have a look on our website. The winners of the YRE competition are awarded with the diplomas and as well all the winners are published through different international uh, websites and platforms that we are collaborating with. So we want to highlight all the winning stories globally and those are those partners are helping us with this. They are also inviting some of the winners for different interviews, uh, meetings 
And uh, for the next, like we are now following with the winners from this year, we will be trying to follow with the winners next year and have them invited for different meetings, celebrations, and um, uh, also international conferences. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's like, I think we are doing quite well, so we, we don't go with the break uh, for this. Uh, but uh, we have a few uh, winners from the YRE competition from this year. And I will go kind of one by one and to want to check if we have all uh, these uh, winners presented with us. So I want to ask uh, if we have Cynthia and Hannah from Slovakia with us, if you can unmute yourself. Hi, I'm here. I am here. Yes, great. So I will get back to you. And then do we have uh, Hannah uh, with the uh, photo reportage about Frog Taxi? Yes, I'm here. Yes, great. Uh, do we have Alice uh, and Nicolas uh, from France from this uh, story with the fishnet? No? Uh, do, do we have Alice and Nicolas? I don't see them connected. Okay, so we skip that. Uh, do we have students from Mauritius? Yes, we are here. You're here, okay. Fantastic. And uh, do we have a national winner of the special prize in France? No. Okay. Uh, I'm checking this and uh, forgive me that, but the, it was kind of like um, uh, some, some people were highlighting in last minute that they want to be part of this. I will, uh, I will be showing those stories, but I can start with uh, Cynthia and Hannah. Uh, can you say a few words about uh, your article? If you can unmute yourself and tell, uh, tell the audience uh, what your article was about. Hi, I'm so sorry, but my connection isn't very good, so... Okay. <laughs> but I'm I, here. Yes, okay. I, I wasn't just sure what happened in this, but uh, if you can uh, say, can you say a few words about, the, uh, about your article? Well, we choose this article because it's, it is close to our heart because we owned a flat in the building where the beds are located. So it was a problem we uh, we came to touch in everyday life and right now we are uh, volunteering to clean up the space to clean up the arctic they are living in and it has made a big impact in in the city and all over the area and we were even in the national TV. So that was fantastic. Thanks, uh, thank, you. thank you for this. Uh, I want to ask um, uh, Hannah as well to say about the frog taxi, what the story was about, uh, the photo reportage. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, at first I want to apologize, but my English isn't that much good. But the frog taxi was all about that I'm close to animals and we are going to trips every year to Jelzna Studinka and we keep seeing these frogs from the other sides of barrier because they are migrating, but there is um There is a place where they can die because um, uh, my English. <laughs> All about it was the saving frogs from the cars and taking there from the one side of barrier to another. 
because they don't have that much power of jumping through the barriers. So we were taking them and helping them yes. get where they need it. Yeah, and they are disappearing as one of our um, uh, species in this because uh, the environment is changing and they need some protection so they can, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they can stay with us. Thank you so much, Hannah. Yeah. And and then the uh, I want is there like protections from the bird? Yes. <laughs> I will get back with some uh, some additional questions to you, but I want to ask uh, students from Mauritius, uh, can you say a few words about your story? I would like to mention that we were awarded for the category article writing and not for video reportage. Our story was based on uh, our capital, which is suffering from pollution and global warming due to consequences of economic development. My friend and I wanted to look for a solution that could change Port Louis into a healthier capital. We have understood the importance of green spaces in the heart of a city. For example, green spaces can create recreational areas and improve the living condition of the inhabitants of the capital, attract insects and uh, for pollination, retain rainwater and lower temperature, create a minimum of biodiversity and allow the well functioning of various ecosystems. In Mauritius, there are firms which are working in collaboration with NGO. For instance, an NGO, namely Friends of the Environment, has decided to restore the endemic and indigenous flora of a hill, namely La Citadel in Port Louis. Without green spaces, biodiversity would be a minimal. And we, we, and we think that the municipality of Port Louis should impose environmental measures such as planting on the roots of building and creating gardens instead of having concrete courtyards. Thank you so much for that and sharing this great story. Um, I would like to ask as well, uh, all, guys, all of you, uh, like um, uh, in the first uh, story, you mentioned that this path may uh, like making very, like, very, very well recognized in the local community. And you were also presented in the, uh, in the local TV with this, uh, in local media. Uh, I would like to ask also Hannah about frogs. Uh, it's like, with this, was the story making the impact uh, locally? How it was recognized by local community? Uh, local well, community. The... I'm sorry. I'm Hannah too. I'm speaking. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I want to ask uh, now see. about frogs. Yeah, but I will go back to bats as well. So, which Hannah would like to start? Hannah with uh, Nosako Nosakova. Oh, now they are both muted. So I want. Well, to... I can I can start yes. with the yes, bats. Please. Yes. Okay. So. We got into the national TV and uh, the interest of people became very big. And even uh, the problem was get was starting to solve itself because the owners of the place in the building had, had to pay a large, large amount of money uh, because the building was repairing and mm. because of the bets, uh, the amount of money uh, rising. So it became very expensive and the owners weren't very happy about it. And people learned that these creatures live among, among us. So that was great. And we are now uh, starting, we are working on an article about the, the beds and how they live and the products that they make. 
Okay. So that's interesting. So, yes. So you will have you. some follow-up story from this. Thank you so much. Uh, so I want to ask uh, Mauritius the same. Uh, was your story making an impact locally? How it was recognized uh, by the local community? Do we have uh, our group from Mauritius to share it? Definitely, there has been an impact at the level of my school and of the school of Mauritius. We were awarded nationally and internationally in the article writing. So all the students of the school were curious to discover the content of our work as a majority of students live in Port Louis. They showed more, much interest in reading the article. Sensitized, they also discussed about the environmental issues they are facing. Furthermore, our work was validated by experts. Therefore, we feel that we have an important role to play by raising awareness on the conservation of biodiversity. Fantastic. Uh, I just want to ask yet, uh, if there is a teacher from Mauritius, Mrs. Chan. Yes, hello yes. everyone. Hello. Uh, you were the teacher uh, teaching the YRE program for the first time last year. Can you tell us uh, how did you start the program? How did you encourage the students to, uh, to join the program? Okay, sincerely, I do not take um, any initiative to start the program, but I must um, underline that a school embarked itself in the eco school project in 2017. And as we won uh, the green flag in 2018, our national operator, that is Reef Conservation, um, proposed, hence proposes to participate in the YOE competition. And I must add that uh, it was more um, a learning um, journey than a competition. Yes. Okay, fantastic. I hope you will continue it for, the, for this year and we'll see more fantastic stories from Mauritius. Sure. As well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to go back to our presentation and say a few more words about uh, things that are happening uh, in our program. And uh, as I was uh, highlighting during the different uh, aspects of the program on our website, you can uh, find the handbook, the video tutorials, there is a bunch of different webinars also touching the journalistic aspect, dissemination, working through social media and uh, talking about different environmental issues. So please have a look at this as well for inspiration and learning. But uh, for teachers, I want to highlight as well that we have as well uh, like a bunch of lesson plans and uh, very well documented materials that you can use uh, to introduce the YRE program in, on the school grounds. Uh, we have lesson plans that are produced in English, French, uh, Portuguese, and we are working now also to have some materials in Spanish and some other languages. And I also want to highlight that we have uh, in fee uh, online educational platform that is called FE Academy. And this is a free online courses for educators and students. And everyone can take different courses. You can use your own time whenever you are available to take few hour course and learn, for example, about environmental journalism that are created especially for YRE students, but also teachers and, um, can, and uh, other educators, they can take part, they can participate in those courses. On our website, you can find a whole list of uh, courses. Uh, there are also open courses like a pollution course or biodiversity course, and soon there will be a course about climate change. Um, the environmental journalism course, like photography, writing, videography, they are between 8 to 14 hours to, to go through that course, but you can uh, increase your skills, you can learn a lot of tips that will help you to create a good story for the YRE competition. 
And those courses uh, now from October are open permanently. So you can just go there. You don't need the enrollment key. You can just sign up and, and go through that course when, uh, uh, when you are interested and maybe let you have uh, some spare time for that. Uh, some of the courses, the, especially the environmental journalism courses um, and also a pollution course, uh, they will be translated very soon into Portuguese and we are also working to have them translated into Spanish and uh, French by the end of the year. So if you are native speakers from those countries, it might help you as well to, to go through them. Uh, if you have some uh, additional needs related to the FIA Academy, you can have a look on our website. You can also contact our um, uh, coordinator of FIA Academy, Riza, who will help you with all the additional information that you need for the course. I just want to say also a few words about uh, uh, coming a pollution campaign and uh, collaboration month. Uh, so from the 1st of January, we will be running some additional activities related to uh, rising awareness about pollution. And uh, there will be the whole uh, 2023 focuses on pollution. It will give you also background information for this YRE competition. Uh, it helps to increase awareness and also will focus on the responsible consumption, promote cleaning of the physical environment. So uh, there will be different activities that will be orientated for different groups. And um, uh, for this, there will be a series of webinars related to pollution. There will be a, a lesson plans competition for uh, schools. There will be some quizzes for students and some other activities that we hope you will enjoy and uh, will help you also to highlight your work that uh, it's related to different aspects of uh, environmental pollution. Uh, and now also I wanna say that the, on the 1st of October, we open uh, uh, the International Collaboration Month for the YRE countries. So if you are thinking of participating in the YRE competition through the international collaboration uh, part, uh, you can uh, sign up uh, for this through our website in our news stories. You will see the form uh, that you can uh, fill out, um, highlighting what is the topic that you are looking for, the group of students, what is the age, which country. If you have some preferences on working from which country you want to work, you can highlight this in this information as well. And in November, we will match uh, schools that are interested in collaboration and uh, you will have uh, information about your partner school for this uh, coming year. Uh, if there are any other questions about that or anything, Shimon, you want to add anything about this? I think you pretty much covered it, Gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, so here is the link as well. And I suppose uh, Shimon and Lou can uh, post this link on the website. And now uh, for like discussion and questions, I just want to invite you to Mentimeter. And if you can type on your phone or uh, on the computer as well, the link to uh, uh, www.menti.com and this code 8773-6548. So I just stopped sharing here and I will open the link to uh, Mentimeter. And then we're gonna have some discussion through Mentimeter about uh, things that you wanna discuss for the YRE competition yet. So if you are here, you can just start with the first question that is here. Let me to make it in the present mode. And the first is like, what are your initial thoughts about the YRE competition? You can highlight things that uh, kind of are not clear for you or something that, that, uh, uh, that you want to ask or yeah, also positive and negative aspects. So I just remind the code, it's 8773 That's great, but it looks promising. 
Uh, also, if you have, if you need any help from us or any, any additional information, something is not clear, uh, you can always send email to us or ask national operator on uh, in your country. And uh, we will help to understand. And it's also good in the feedback for us uh, to know that we need to write something in a more clear way. Uh, yeah, we have, I'm very happy that you like the clarification about citation. Uh, yes, it helps developing different skills. It uh, gives you the diversity of actions that you can run and um, the story that uh, in the way how they can be presented. Um, and I'm very happy to hear that you are interested in the competition and giving some uh, big efforts for the environment, great uh, learning way for, for you. And it's inspiring. So fantastic. That's a great thoughts about that. And uh, if we can have a look on the maybe second question. Do you have any concerns about becoming YRE and submitting entries for the competition? Anything that you find problematic, you don't know how to do it, maybe we can discuss about this. I don't see any questions. Need to get uh, better participation, but no problems being a uh, national operator. Uh, yeah, if you need any help, we also this pollution campaign that we are going to launch at the beginning of the year. Uh, it will be highlighting an opportunity for participating in a program like YRE. So we hope as well that it will help to get more participants uh, for the program. There is another question, I think. How long the duration of the program? If you are a work, if you are a teacher in the school, you can write uh, several cycles with several students, classes, and then make a preselection on the school ground. So this is not like an eco school that you need to sign up at the beginning of the school year and run for the whole school uh, for the whole academic year. Uh, you can do it uh, with uh, different groups of students with different classes, different subjects, and let them to um, yeah uh, get themselves into the topic and uh, investigate how they can create stories. It can be done also with the students of uh, like. Um, reporters club on the school ground but it can be done with the whole class uh, that is for example uh, talking about pollution uh, like air pollution uh, uh, that is maybe important for some of the countries and then some of the students who are interested to investigate it and wrote about write about stories they can um, develop it through this uh, wire competition so it has a really really different uh, cycle for different countries uh, uh, you mean the sent a rough draft uh, to us as uh, the YRE head office? I would suggest you can uh, 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 consult something with national operators in your country. I think that could be helpful. And I suppose our member in different countries, they are organizing some workshops. Um, and then they will be inviting uh, students for or teachers as well for an online or physical workshop. So then some ideas can be discussed. I would avoid of sending stories uh, to us on national, on international level, because if the story is not finished, sometimes we can confuse you with some of the answers if we don't know the local, um, local background or the story is not finished. Uh, can you please give a brief about what do we have uh, to do directly? 
First, I would say contact our national operators and sign up for the YRE program. Then you will get access to the materials and some support from the national operator. And also uh, sign up for the courses, uh, especially if there are students who can sign up if they are interested in photography, writing and videography. So we remember about the academy and look on the different resources. If you are choosing, for example, the pollution topic, uh, think how you can embed it in the, um, in the school curriculum and discuss with different classes. When will the activity for writing articles start? It can start now and you can work on the stories and uh, spend some time on dissemination and uh, then be ready for the submission on national level. So when will be the deadline for the competitions on national level? Uh, check with, on, uh, or with our members on national level, because sometimes it's March, sometimes it's April. Uh, it depends uh, of, uh, from country to country. Uh, can students choose their category or they are required? To, no, they can choose one category or they can submit in few categories. Uh, there is no limitation on that. But we suggest you choose the category that you like the most or you feel uh, that uh, you have the best skills or interest in that category. Uh, the program starts like uh, right now, so you can work on it and participate in different activities that will be announced uh, within the whole year. And sign up for the program through national operators, so then it, you can be informed about different activities. Can we post the article in a blogging site? Uh, yes, you can do that. Uh, then there are rules uh, for the national uh, for the national competitions that you need to submit the article so national operator can submit the story to us. So sometimes they ask in PD to send it in PDF or the Word version. Uh, it depends what is required by different national operators. Uh, how do we contact your coordinator? I think uh, there is a link on our chat uh, and on our website, you can find contact to all national operators in all countries. Uh, does every national operator ask teachers to sign up first? Is that better? Uh, it depends from country to country. Some national, some countries are open for like uh, freelance students that they can sign directly. So you just check that with national operator. So I think that were our questions in this uh, group. Oh, we have one more, I think. Can we post our article or photos on Instagram or social media? Yes, you can do that. And then uh, for the competition, share the links how it was disseminated. So we can uh, highlight that, but it, it make a great impact. And uh, also other people were talking about your stories. Can we use others created music with their permission? Yes, if you have permission and uh, you can highlight it at the end of your video, but uh, this you have rights for this music, then it's perfect. You can use that. Can we send our project to the national operators? Yes, you can do that. Uh, what are the topic? Uh, as I was highlighting, uh, the pollution is the like uh, the main area for the next year. But you can look at different aspects of pollution. You can look on uh, uh, air pollution, ocean, soil pollution, different different aspects. You can talk about uh, waste and litter. You can talk about sustainable consumption, production, fast fashion, all the different aspects. But you can also work on the biodiversity and climate change. You, it's not excluded. It's just the pollution is recommended. So first think what is close to your heart and what is the uh, aspect that you want to actually um, work on for that next year. And then you can uh, find out in which area it, is, uh, it can be fitted. Yes, choose what topic you want. So yeah, exactly. Choose what that what is important for you locally. Okay, you can create your own music. Also, please, if you do that, highlight it in the at the end of the video. But this is done by you, so we know that uh, we don't need to search for it and and check if this music was uh, yeah already created by someone else. So that will be very useful. 
can we post our articles, photos on personal account or different social apps? You can do it on personal accounts and then uh, make a print screen or link for the national operator uh, that it was posted there. So great. Um, then if we can go to the next, uh, I need to switch because it's something is blocked. Yes, I just want to highlight one more question, especially if we have teachers here, if there are any other resources uh, that you need, anything that can be helpful for you to run a program on national level. Or also for students, if you think that there should be something that uh, will help you to create story. Something about nature. We have a biodiversity course that is already available on our FIA Academy. And uh, there are also some educational resources that are presented through our Learning About Forest website. So you can contact us or national operator if you need some more information, but to have a look on our website and sign up for the course. We can use the site called Medium, yes. You can also, uh, Medium platform is open for, uh, I think, schools, NGOs, and other partners. And you can make the account there and publish your story on Medium. We are also publishing our winners there. Uh, what is the question about environment? Can you specify that? You can unmute yourself and maybe say uh, what, what you mean under this. Okay, it looks like yes. I can see there are some questions in the other part. Can we inspire our stories from others? Uh, yes, you can get inspired with other stories that are presented on our website on national level. Uh, feel free to use that, uh, but look what is important for you locally. And what is the angle of presenting the story? Because sometimes it can be again about fishnets or it can be about uh, fast, fast fashion, but it can be looked on a different angle that was not presented before. How long is the duration? Okay, so this was already uh, answered. Yeah, I think that's uh, what we have in our questions. Yeah. So I just uh, stopped sharing. I want to ask if there are any other questions. Now, I don't know if uh, Shimon and Lou, did you find anything, any other questions maybe on chat or something that was not answered? No. Uh, if there is anything else, you can uh, unmute yourself and highlight the question. No? So, yes. Uh, I was going to say that um, Scotland have some videos about mobile phone photography that anyone else can use if they want. They're on our YouTube channel. Fantastic. Yep. Yes. Uh, if you have a link to that, uh, yeah, maybe you can place it on chat as well. So it can be shared with this recording. Yeah, we will follow up with this webinar. We will share uh, links with you. Uh, I'm saying about the uh, participants who sign up for this webinar, but also with all national operators. Uh, if there will be any additional questions about criteria for the competition, anything related to deadline, contacts to partners, finding partner school, just do not hesitate to contact us 
and everything is on the website and in uh, our resources. And many of videos are also with different subtitles, like video tutorials. They have subtitles for all three countries. So you can watch them in the national language. Thank you, Katrina. And with this, uh, if there is uh, no more questions and comments, I would like to say a huge thank you for uh, attending this webinar. I hope you enjoyed and uh, we shared in, like useful information and uh, just wish you a lovely day or evening or afternoon, depends where you are. And we'll see your stories in the wiring competition this year. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.